Well, guys, this is going to be a fun one. This is the Titanius Maximus 6x6, Gladiator 6x6, and Velociraptor 6x6 all at truck night. And these things are all going to run. And we're going to see which one, if any, comes out on top and which one we would rather drive home. And before the video gets started, I want you guys to let me know in the comment section below which one you either think is going to win or... Or if you've already picked your favorite before even seeing them drive. So now we're going to start this comparison in the Velociraptor 6x6. And for the purposes of this comparison, we're probably going to go ahead and just build all of these to max capacity. Now, the first thing that we're going to need to do is we're going to need to take this guy into the garage and hopefully equip a higher suspension because the other two are much taller. So we're going to go with the upgraded suspension, the probably the off-road transmission, and we're going to do the stock suspension. Well, you got stock and toe, and that's it. And then, whoa, that is not what I wanted to do. Tires-wise, you get all 39s, and your options are Maxxis Rockzillas, Pitbulls, Trail Grapplers, and Open Countries. I'm going to go with the Trail Grapplers. And then, winch-wise, you get basically one winch option. We're not really going to do any frame add-ons, but let's see. We'll go with the uh, Fuel Mavericks this time. And colors-wise, we'll go with... Just something we haven't really used much on this truck. Probably like a like a gray almost. That actually looks really good. So I got the dash clean on there. And we're going to go ahead and throw beans on there as well. And now we're going to go ahead and line this one up at the start line. So it's actually a really clean looking build right now. Really clean looking setup. And now it's time to go ahead and grab the next vehicle in this lineup. And that is going to be the Gladiator Rubicon 6x6, which I haven't driven in a very long time. Which also seems to have spawned in with uh, ice studded tires. I'm not sure why it spawned in with those, but uh, we're going to go ahead and probably switch those out. Now, let's see. Uh, upgrade or performance? Performance, I would say, for sure. S or S+, plus. either way it's going to work. Off-road gearbox. These are all going to be running... Uh, these are all going to be running their respective off-road boxes. So, let's see. 44-inch. Ooh, you could do a bogger or generic off-road tire. Let's do, let's do uh, the 44 generic off-road tire. And then we'll do the off-road bumper up front. And we'll do... Ooh, we'll do black half doors as well. That looks... That looks sick. That looks really, really good. Okay. And colors-wise, this one... I know that... Uh, I kind of want to run one of these in purple, but the thing is, that's not quite the shade of purple that looks good on this thing. Like, it looks okay, but it doesn't look exactly the way I would want it to look. And so I think, for that reason, I'll run this guy in red, and then... Hey, there's beans. And then we will run the Titan in a different color. So, let's bring the Rubicon 6x6 over here to the right. Let's line it up with the Velociraptor. And that one is going to chill right there. Now, finally, we're going to go ahead and build up the Titanius Maximus. And this one won't take very long at all. We're just going to throw uh, the top engine in it. And we're going to throw a couple other things on it and then be done. So, super stock. Off-road. And crawler or flexi boy. Probably flexi boy. And we're going to do as big of a tire as we can. And it's going to be the 43-inch trail grapplers. So, uh, console winch. That'll uh, be fine. And we're not going to do any frame add-ons. We're going to leave the current wheels on it. And we're going to paint this one... We're going to paint this one blue. We, ne we never run this truck in blue. We never do. All right. So now we've got all the trucks ready to go. And it's time to see which one of these is going to come out on top. I'm very excited. I'm, I'm genuinely excited to have all three 6x6s out here on truck night together. It's like... It's such a cool idea. So, let's grab the Velociraptor first. That's going to be our first run. Three, two, one. Fire it up and go. Definitely not the quickest thing in the world. Let's see how it does once it starts to get a little bit further down the track. Let's throw it in high. Now, obviously, all these trucks should do pretty well since they have, you know, three axles as opposed to your usual two. And it's doing really well in the mud despite being lower to the ground than the other two, which is a good sign. Whoa, picking up a, wow, a lot of suspension damage there, though. I wanted to see if it could stay in high up that first concrete block, which is a test that I'm going to give the other two as well. And sometimes trucks can do it, sometimes they can't. Sometimes 
they can do it without any suspension damage at all. And sometimes others will completely destroy their suspension. And this one didn't fully destroy its suspension, but it came close. Back into automatic mode. Sitting in fifth gear. Easy, no problem. All right, I'm gonna put it back into high range so we at least have some kind of consistent speed. Nope. Never mind on that one. Not really any consistent speed there. So we'll stick with what we're doing right now. We'll stick with this and then put it back in automatic mode. I'm thinking, well, probably automatic mode once we get into the water. There we go. Go, 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 go. Dangerous water level. Little iffy there. Little iffy. Putting that power down or at least attempting to. Let's put it in low plus because that's literally the same speed that we were going before. Just, you know, a more effective gear. So we might as well stay in that one. All right, up and out the other side. Struggling a little bit there, just a little bit. And you can tell it's probably because of the suspension height, especially in comparison to the other two. Nothing against the truck itself, just kind of an observation about the suspension height. Let's back it up real quick. Need a more aggressive angle, otherwise it will not make it up this rock. It will there, so that's not too bad, but again, bashing right into the bumper. The, the rock section is definitely putting this thing to work, and it's putting this thing to work in a way that it feels like it's not fully comfortable with, uh, to be brutally honest. I definitely had an easier time getting through here with the Titanius Maximus 6x6 when I drove it recently, and I'm sure that the Gladiator 6x6 would be fine through here, but this thing definitely showing uh, a little bit of a little bit of a difficulty. Oh, come on. Dug in on the bumper and really started to stall out. Let's, let's let that not become the trend here. Wow, it even scraped its bumper going up the, uh, the rocks. That's pretty iffy. I'm not gonna lie. Like, we have to really think about the line that we take with this thing because the bumper is so low. Will it scrape on the bridges? Didn't quite scrape, but are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh my god. All right, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna not do that, actually. I'm just gonna, like, winch myself off the bridge. Because you know what? That was 100% my bad. And I will 100% take responsibility for the fact that I wasn't paying attention to where the rear axles were. I was paying attention to the front axle, but the rear axle? Nah. Wasn't paying attention to that guy at all. You end up in um, sticky situations and awkward scenarios. Mainly one where you're literally sliding along the belly of the truck. That tree will save me. That tree will save me. Thank you. Okay, I'm not going to consider this thing's performance on the bridge any kind of indication of the truck's capabilities at all because that was 100% my bad. However, even when attacking the logs at a proper, like, full-on angle, this thing, you can tell, still has a little bit of a struggle getting over them. Little bit out of its element here, that's for sure. God, I had to drive it all the way to the edge to make it get through. And even then, we scraped a tree. Final section. And remember, we have two other trucks to run. But I really wanted to run this thing first because I had never done a full run with it before. So through this section here, actually doing really well with the independent front suspension in the front. Although, we would have probably sheared off some ball joints by now. But that's neither here nor there. All right. We are across the line in this thing. Let's go ahead and shut the engine off and grab the Gladiator Rubicon 6x6. This thing, I'm sure, is gonna demolish, especially since it has beans power. But let's go and fire it up. All wheel drive on, and three, two, one, let's go. Full set. Oh my god, the off-road gearbox in this thing has eight gears. What the heck? Okay, high range is not happy in the mud, though. That's a big difference. High range in the uh, in the Velociraptor was actually really happy in the mud, whereas this thing, high range in the mud, not so happy. He's her up the hill. That's flat out. Wouldn't fully jump it, but it came close. It came really freaking close, actually. All right, down the stair steps, up and over, and blast out of it. Come on. Lunging through here. I'm gonna put it in a high. I'm just gonna put it in a high. I'm gonna leave it because we would probably run into some very, very big issues if we left it in automatic through there. Are you gonna keep this moving or are you gonna sink? Uh, it's keeping it moving. It's keeping it 
you're moving. All right, find your way up the other side. Find your way up the other, there you go. Oh, oh my God, it actually, I shifted out of high because I expected it to stall out, but it didn't stall out right there. What? Wow. Okay, I wanted to attack the really, really hard line with this thing, and granted this thing's tires are very big, but they're not quite big enough for this line, I don't think. Yeah, that line is still burying the bumper, so we'll take a different line. That's no bad marks on this thing. That's just, like, poor line choice on my part. Easing it around. It'll be able to handle that. Yeah, definitely be able to handle that line. Easy. There we go, up and over. Not having to worry at all about those. Easy peasy, pretty much. Wow! Up the rock wall in six automatic motor and didn't even try to shift down. That is impressive. All right, across the bridge. Paying attention to where all of my axles are this time. This thing, I'm just going to attack it. I'm just going to attack it. Uh, well, oh! The front suspension compressed and we buried the front bumper. That is not what I was hoping would happen. I was hoping we would have enough clearance to avoid that, but not quite. No such luck. Watching that suspension work is awesome, though. Handled that section really, really well. All right, and that is going to do it for the Gladiator 6x6. Let's go ahead and shut this thing down, and we have one more run, and that is the Titanius Maximus 6x6. And I feel like this thing might actually, might actually have the best performance. We'll see. I don't know, but we'll see. Let's go. The reason why I feel like this thing might have the best performance is not only because I drove it recently, but because I feel like this one is the most balanced. I feel like the, for this map anyway, I feel like the Velociraptor is a little bit undersuited for it, whereas the uh, the Gladiator Rubicon is maybe a little too over the top. This one I think is super well balanced for Truck Knight, and it just kind of, whoop, I say that, and it starts stalling out on me. Ignore that bit, but let's go ahead and back into high range it's a very manageable truck to drive and i think that that's what really shines about the titanius maximus is that it's so incredibly manageable in almost any scenario like look at this it's not the fastest in high range but it's so smooth like there's nothing that it gets upset at you for you know what i mean like it's quick but it's not so quick to the point to where it wants to like break things and it's also, not so slow that you have to start worrying about stalling out. Jumping it over. Oh, wow. What? That it did that in high? Okay, that is, that is truly impressive. Until it got a little bit bound up there, and that's perfectly understandable as to, as to where we would have to put it into low plus, but that is, that is an incredible performance. Incredible performance from this thing. Definitely the smoothest run definitely the smoothest run wow impressive smooth there's absolutely like nothing i would change about this thing really making a run down the there we go all right we've got it back into high not bad all right let's go final bit and this thing also did not get hung up at all it got a little bit of damage but it didn't ever get hung up which is again another really big plus for this thing big plus for sure and across the line okay so i think my favorite of the test was the titanius maximus but i would love to know in the comment section down below which one was y'all's favorite and which one you would take home that's gonna do it for this video guys if you did enjoy make sure to let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments hit that like button if you enjoyed subscribe if you're new and i'll see you guys next time